And lawmakers on Capitol Hill passed a measure aimed at funding service dogs for mental health treatment among veterans. Here's more details on the bill. When I had night terrors, um, it was nice. Uh, normally I wake up panic, sweating, whatnot, but uh, I woke up to very calm, soft. He really gave me the courage to step up and start my education. And, you know, he's right there with me. A bill to give service dogs to veterans with PTSD passes the House unanimously. Earlier this week, the House passed the Puppies Assisting Wounded Service Members for Veterans Therapy Act, or PAWS. Representative Steve Stivers introduced the bill, saying service dogs give veterans freedom. According to the Department of Veterans Affairs, up to 20 percent of veterans return home with PTSD. And in 2019, the VA revealed veteran suicide rates continue to be higher than the general population. Veteran suicide is a tragedy of staggering proportions. Hard to believe an average of 20 veterans and service members take their lives every single day. Who would believe that's possible? PAWS gives federal grants for a five-year pilot program for organizations to train and provide service dogs to veterans with post-deployment mental health issues. On top of providing service dogs to veterans, it'll also allow them to learn how to train the dogs. In 2010, the VA was exploring the use of service dogs for mental health treatment, but the program was suspended. And in 2018, Purdue University and Canines for Warriors found veterans who had service dogs reported significantly fewer symptoms of PTSD. The group who had a service dog had clinically significantly lower rates of PTSD than those who did not have a service dog. They had lower symptomology, lower incidences of depression, lower anxiety, increased social participation, so willingness to leave their house and go engage with society in different activities. The VA will release their first report on the effects of emotional support dogs for veterans with PTSD this summer. Meantime, the bill will now be taken up by the Senate before landing on President Trump's desk. Amanda Brilhanti, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.